go. Hello, everybody. How's it going, everybody? What up, what up? How's it going, guys? Hi, guys. <laughs> Welcome to another Coffee with the Coaches. Happy Wednesday. It's the middle of the week. Hopefully, you guys are having a productive week so far. We got a lot of fun stuff to talk to you guys about today. We're going to talk about healthy habits today. So, I'm super excited for all of us to get into this. We got Coach Gus, Coach Valencia over there behind the cameras fixing some things up. But yes. before we get into this healthy habits talk, I want to share some things with you guys. We got some new exciting stuff that came in. We have um, some protein, but it's now in single serve packs. So if you want to take it on the go, there's I think I believe 15, yes, 15 single serve packs in each bag. We also have that for the ageless greens, which is super cool. If you just want to throw it in your gym bag or if you want to take it on the go. And when you go to work. Yeah, when you go to work, when you come here, you know, if you're like wanting to take it literally right after your workout, you can just pour it into your water or whatever you have with you. Also, something I know that we've been nonstop talking about in here that we're all super excited about. You guys know how much we push, how important sleep is, getting your seven hours. Absolutely. And now we have a sleep aid for you guys to, yes. to buy. It's so super awesome. cool. Um, I'm definitely, definitely going to be trying this and using this because I know sometimes um, we all can have a little bit of trouble sleeping and it's super important to make sure that we get rested so that we can you know, come in and crush workouts and go about our day. Last thing, Everyday Fit, the new low carb a margarita flavor. Woo! Yes, we're going to be taste testing this on Saturday. So if you guys want to come on in, we're going to also have that egg hunt that we've been talking about all week long. There we go. It landed. So, it landed, yeah. Smooth. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys want to come in on Saturday, I believe at noon we're going to be taste testing that. Also, if you're coming in for the workout, I believe we're taste testing it all morning. So. Come on in for that. Also, if you're coming in today in the afternoon sessions, make sure that you are wearing crazy socks. I don't have my crazy socks on. Does anybody have crazy socks? I changed mine because I was being <laughs> gross, but these are kind of crazy, I guess. I got some strength. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'll make sure to have some on for, for the afternoon sessions. But without further ado, are you guys ready to get into this healthy habit talk? Absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely. Yes. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. Who wants to kick it off? Coach Valencia, <laughs> do the honors. <laughs> All right, so, sorry, my voice is a little shy from coaching this morning, but I guess, you know, that's my job. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> so, we, of course, we have our staple healthy habits that we preach very much. The core three, which is to drink half your body weight in ounces of water, as, uh, to get seven plus hours of sleep, and you get at least three workouts in a week to get that minimum effective dose for what you're going for. Those are those are core habits that we, we preach, we do expect, and we know it's a challenge you know, to get to that point because we're, we're starting from somewhere and we gotta get to that point. So we're creating those healthy habits. And I think that's one of the, that is like the hardest part is creating it and not only just making it, because anybody can do something for like a day, an hour, a week. It's keeping it going and, and really making it part of your routine and a habit that sticks because we all have habits, whatever it is, whether it's a good one or a bad one. Um, like I tend to chew on my nails a little bit and that's like something I try to kick. But we try to build upon that and make something a little bit better and grow from it. Uh, Cause we always want to get a little bit better. And so we got a ton of stuff. We, we, I mean, again, I say this every single time and I'll always say this, we're all different people. We work in the same place and we have a singular goal when it comes to here, all driving the same direction. But I love it so much because I get to hear habits that they have that my, maybe I want to do. Or habits that I have, and it's like, oh, like I didn't know that they might want to do something as well. So uh, I guess I'll go a little bit more into uh, what daily habits that I have and how that affects my my life. So one of the habits that I try or I am currently doing is to schedule out my day and to schedule out my week. Um, I'm someone that works better if I know exactly what to do, when to do it, and almost like I'm being told that way I don't have to think about it. And I found out recently that my watch will tell me what I'm supposed to do an hour ahead of time, so I can actually see that. There's a cool feature. Cool. But I've been doing that. I know I know I showed you that, and you messaged me the other day saying you yeah. a program because it's cool too. It's all colorful and looks nice. Yeah. Um, I think I have a. There's a video on our YouTube channel of when I showed how to make things in Google Calendar. That was like almost a year ago. Wow. But that's a habit that I've been pick, that I've picked up and I've been working at. I'm not gonna say I'm 100 percent or I'm the greatest at it. But it's something that I've been doing. And also another thing is like my morning and my night routine. 
Um, for the most part, it's very basic. Like I wake up, I take uh, my, my vitamins in the morning, make sure that I'm good to go. Uh, I try to drink a glass of water as soon as I wake up just to jumpstart everything. And of course I brush my teeth and clean my room. Like those are the bare essentials. And at night, it's almost the same thing. Like I will push up laundry until I'm about to go to sleep. But for whatever reason, like I hang everything. I don't have a dresser. I hang everything um, because I, I, I'm a minimalist. I try to keep very little things in my room. But it's just nice to kind of like decompress, lying down, and not have anything playing, just kind of like letting my thoughts roll and putting stuff on a hanger and just hanging it up. Um, and then just same thing, taking any 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 of my nighttime supplements. Uh, now I'm probably gonna end up taking this too to help me sleep. Uh, to make sure that I wind down, I always, I read in bed, because I know that I'm gonna pass out, and right when I feel like, okay, like I'm starting to lose my attention and I'm drifting off, I'm like, okay, go in there, put my pen in, close my book, put it beside my, my bed. Um, and so that's, that's one of the things I do, or one of the few things I do, but uh, but I'll leave you guys that. Yeah. No, just like I was actually going to mention that, I noticed Valencia, he was telling me about his Google Calendar and how he's been planning everything out. And I've been definitely feeling overwhelmed with like my schedule, so as soon as I heard him say that, I was like, oh, I would love to just me visually seeing everything that I have to do. And like he said, feeling like it's like each time, like even from planning out when I eat breakfast, from planning out when I take a shower, when I work out, when I, anything, I like it. Yeah, I'm starting to, like, I was just thinking about that. Coach Sean is, like, very, very routine and, like, has everything, like, very planned out and scheduled, and I, like, really admire that, and that's something that's super cool to see everybody else's habits because I definitely take on a lot of what everyone else is trying to do and see what works for me, um, which is why it's awesome that we can come in here and share what we do because then you guys can take and see what works for you. But definitely sticking to a morning routine, I always, same thing, I like to start drinking my water ASAP because um, I do like to get a gallon in every day. That's a habit that I'm trying to stick to. Um, so starting early in the morning is helpful so that I don't feel like I'm chugging it all at the end of the day. It's the worst. Yeah, it's the worst. But also, you know, just, you know, same thing, routine, shower, brush your teeth, take care of yourself, you know, have good hygiene. <laughs> I know Valencia just started like I forgot using his skincare routine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so I was like, how do I put this? Okay, guys. Um, so I never cared about my skin, and also, like, whenever somebody would tell me or like a significant other, or anything would tell me like, oh, like do this for your skin. I was always that person that was like, don't tell me what to do. Now I'm not going to do it because I'm like, you're telling me what to do. I was very resistant to it, but relatively recently, um, actually, I got an email the other day. So it's, been, it's been like it's been like three weeks. Um, an update, yeah, an update. But uh, so my skin feels phenomenal. Yeah. But I, I like I did. I started taking a skincare supplement and a probiotic as well um, to help with like air, skin, nails, all that, all that stuff. Yeah. And I also started to be on like a very specific like skincare routine, which has been hard for me. I didn't realize how like much brain power it took me to like remember like morning, yeah. night, yeah. do these things. Remember to use moisturizer. No, like. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, oh, there's so much that goes into it, but it's like, it's really not, but it's it's that part where it's like, when you start a habit, it's so stressful because you're looking at like everything you have to do, and you're like, I, I just did these things, I don't want to put more on my plate, but then I realize now it's like, it's so simple, like when I take my shower at night, just like wash my face in the end, all you gotta do is put on lotion, it's not that hard, just yeah. three, three pumps, you're done, like everything, like it's like, oh, and uh, I've enjoyed it actually a lot, like I'm, again, very negligent, very resistant, but now I'm just like, okay, I don't want to go back, because like, I like my feel. Yeah. Yes, that's awesome. Definitely taking care of yourself as much as possible. That's like healthy habits in my opinion. Just really self-caring for yourself. And more so, I've been trying to like at least three times out of the week, I'll do a little bit extra. Like I'll be like, I'm gonna do a face mask tonight. Or I'm just gonna exfoliate or I don't know, like things like that. Yeah, I'll get him I'll like try to put him on some stuff. But <laughs> Yeah, no, but things like that, just doing a little bit extra for yourself, really taking care of yourself, sleeping, drinking water, planning out your meals, planning out your week, get a planner, do things like just really like set that standard for yourself. Um, that's what I've been trying to do lately is just plan and plan and plan. But that's pretty much the healthy habits that I've been trying to stick with. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. You guys, uh, where I think we're pretty similar, similar yeah. um, for the most part. Yes. One thing that I do, um, a couple of things that I do when I wake up, the first thing I do when I wake up um, is do my bed. Um, mm. So that's the great habit. I gotta yeah. do that. Underestimated habits. 
that's just a really, I, I don't know what it is about it. Um, it's just like a small win in the morning. It just, yeah. I, I, I do my bed and it's ready, it's done. When I see my bed done and good and all, like my pillow's good and nice and everything just looks neat. Um, you it makes feel me feel, together. yeah, it makes me feel really good. Um, obviously, I do like my morning routine, which is shower, get ready. And one of the things that uh, I want to emphasize in, because um, I'm just really, really big in, is I take my time getting ready. Um, I love getting ready. I love just like that moment. Um, I feel like if you look good, presentable, um, you feel good no matter how bad your day is. If you look good and you know it and you feel it, you're going to feel good and you're going to enjoy that bad day just a little bit better because you look amazing while that bad day is trying to attack you. You're still slaying it. So that's one of the things that I, I, like, I, I am big on. Um, I don't... I, I really just try to take care of myself. Um, I have morning regimens. I, I do skincare, like I wash my face every day. I have, I have that set, it happens every day, it happens every night. That's like, that just can never not, not happen for me. Um, along with that, right after I take care of that, um, excuse me, I take my protein. So um, I do that every morning, guys. Like every, every, every morning, I take my protein with oatmeal. Um, I've said it before, water, oatmeal, and a banana. I'll add some spinach and kale in there. Um, not every day, but I do it at least three times a week at least. I'm starting to get into right back into that. I feel so much better with it. It helps me uh, feel more awake and uh, more, like, just more energy in the morning. Um, that's what I do every, every single morning. Um, what I do for the week, is um, to get myself prepped. Honestly, it's been helping a lot. I started, once I actually started working here, it's been getting better and better. It's meal prepping for the week. And I've noticed that when I do it for the whole week, um, I have more time. So I know a lot of us don't have time to do this and that. So when you wait to cook for that same day sometimes, if you can and if you have the time for it, that's awesome. But if you're busy, you're, you know, you're working or you're on the go, you have kids, this and that. Um, you will have more time if you cook on Sunday or Saturday, whatever, for three, four days in advance. And then that way you don't have to stop, cook something. All you gotta do is heat up your food and, and you know, eat it and stuff like that. So that's helped me a lot, a lot. Um, I, I try to get, I, mean, I get a workout every, right now. We're doing a 75 hard challenge right now. So I don't have a choice, but I have to do two workouts every single day. But I always try to do at least one workout for sure, for sure. Um, that's my, that's just my thing. I, I like to work out, so I, I get one or two in every single day. Um, right now I don't have a choice, so that's two. <laughs> and I drink my water. Um, I stay hydrated. It's extremely important, guys, to stay hydrated. So that's another healthy habit that I have that we push on you guys all the time because it's extremely important. It's good for your skin. By the way, if you did not know that, it's good for your skin. Um, so make sure you guys are drinking that water. And then I'm also, uh, thanks to the challenge and thanks to Valencia, I'm reading this book. I'm not really like a book reader. I don't, I've never really liked to read, but then that book is really good. Um, it's making me see like just, it, it just catch my attention and I haven't had a book catch my attention since I was like 12. And um, that was like the group book, so. <laughs> a little <laughs> bit different. Yeah, so that's, that's but it's very story. different. It's very still a story. Different. Yeah, it's definitely a great book. Um, and I'm, from now on, I'm going to be just searching for books like that. After I'm done reading that one, I'm just going to keep on looking for books and, and that uh, make me learn something, get something from it that I can use for my life and to help other people. But um, yeah, those are, those are my healthy habits right now that I'm like really focusing on. One of the things that I am going to get into though, just like you guys said, is scheduling. Um, I'm going to try, because I feel like, just like with Valencia, I need to be organized. Like if I don't have a set like routine, I feel out of place, like nothing goes right, everything's rushed, everything's just like, I'm playing catch up and playing catch up is not the thing to do. Like it's just, you're just, you don't benefit from that, like no matter what. So. Um, I try to like keep myself in a routine and that like just everything set for me But I feel like it's, I can get a little bit better by like jotting those things down giving myself reminders um, And just like knowing like just a little bit more detail to get uh, Like just like Sean, John, Sean has everything like scheduled for himself um, And which is awesome. I, I, I admire him for that So I really really need to get into that and, and then hopefully I can start getting a little bit better at, at the little things that I'm missing. I'm trying to learn Hebrew, 
So um, I want to implement that in there somewhere and um, and take some time of my day to learn it and, and actually like learn it, learn it and learn how to speak it. So yeah, those are my little little tricks that I do. <laughs> That's a hard thing just to learn. Oh yeah. yeah. That's awesome. No, you do I yeah, yeah, I do. I sure do. One thing. <laughs> and I said, well, you should do these. <laughs> I'm a planner and I write on it for the week and time. Writing keeps me accountable because I go back and check things off as I go. So yeah, that's always a cool thing. Like having a planner, like something about pen, putting pen to paper and actually checking something off is a great feeling. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of research behind it that says if you write it down, you have a higher chance of actually doing it. And remembering it. Yeah. yeah. So it's like doing that absolutely great method. Um, also, she said, I agree with Coach Gus. I have to take my time to look good even if I'm just working out. There we yes. go. Yes. <laughs> That's me all the time. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I can go to the store. I, I have to be ready for that. It doesn't matter what it is. Do, are, you, are you someone that sets their clothes out the night before? Yeah, I always do. Um, every, every single day I have to set it out. I actually get excited setting it out. I get yeah. excited taking it out even though it's probably the same stuff. It could be simple to you, but to me it, it's not. It's, it's yeah. fun. It's cool. It like, gets me ready. I wake up. I know what I'm gonna wear. I don't yeah. have to be looking for it. Um, so that's along with what we're saying, like being organized. That's just a healthy habit to have. If you're more, the more organized you are, the less catch up you're gonna be playing. You know what I mean? You're gonna be one step ahead of each of those things that you have to do in your day to day. So it's really important to just kind of try to be as organized as possible. I know it's a little hard, especially with different things we have in our lives, like, you know, work or your kids and, and yeah. or any other situation. But whatever works for you and as, as close you can to get to being organized, that will just make it so much more easier. I know it'll be a little tedious at first, but once you get it down, trust and believe, yeah. it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> yeah, and something that came to mind that I didn't realize that, that I do, and actually my dad does it too, we both have separate, like, he has a station, like, in the house, one part of the house, and I have a little thing in the kitchen. I have a little cart. Every day, I'll put my backpack there, I'll put my keys there, I'll put my water there, I'll put my lunch there, so that when I get up, it's all there. My backpack is packed with what I need it to be packed with. My lunch is packed. Yeah, so, like, have a little, like, area in your house, maybe, where you just are, like, all right, you know, you sit out your clothes, just grab and go. Like, yeah. so when you get up, you have time. For yourself, because I know I'll get up a little. Exactly, grab and go. Right there. Put it in your bag. One of these pockets right there in your bag. Just ready, exactly, you know. Yeah. Take a put a water bottle in your bag. You're ready. Mm -hmm. Grab and go. There you go. <laughs> whatever makes you feel set. Whatever makes you feel good. Do it. Find out what works for you. Um, hopefully, some of what we talked about, you know, you guys can take from that. Yeah, I didn't realize. I don't think I realized I did that because, like, mm -hmm. I don't really have a car. It's more of like, it's like this really specific spot on my floor. <laughs> but, like, but it's like, same thing, like I set out my clothes uh, right there, same, every single day, same place on the ground. Like when everything's cleaned up at, at the end of the day, um, same place, my backpack is always in the same exact spot. My keys are the only thing where I'm like, it's either gonna be in like one of three places. <laughs> one of five, <laughs> right here, right here. Right. But then aside from that, like everything is like, in, like I know where it's at, that way when I wake up, I literally just like wake up and like, Okay, and I can mindlessly put my clothes on because it's already done yeah. and past me or you did everything so I can be thankful. Exactly, yeah. Just setting yourself up for success pretty much for each day is yeah. what you got to do. Yeah, extremely important, guys. Share your guys' comments on, yeah. um, yes. on what you guys do, your routine. Um, I don't know how it's gone or if you tried any of ours. Uh, let us know how you're doing, how it's going, guys. We want to hear all about it. Um, here. You can still comment on the video that we posted. If you don't get to comment now, yes. and see it later, yes. you can still comment and we'll still be going back and forth chatting right there. Definitely. There's oh and, and then if there's any like routines that you think that we would like. Yeah, yeah, yeah that'd be awesome. I'm willing to try some stuff. We're not we're not the end all be all. We still got work to do. Yeah. So, <laughs> like, if there's anything that you're like, oh this worked yeah. very well for me, like give it a shot as well. Yeah. We always want to keep improving, so please share ideas. We can all grow together. Yes, 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 yes. Guys, we do have, like Coach Ariana said, we do have some new stuff right here with us. Um, our everyday drinks in these packets. Um, if you guys are just looking, like if you travel, this is super cool because you can just take a couple in your bag, in your luggage, in your carry-on bag, take it with you, and you guys can still, you know, 
get your greens, get your protein in, um, and then we do have those vitamins and fish oil, guys. Those are part of healthy habits right there that we encourage you guys to do and take every single day. It's extremely important. It's part of your health. You're only gonna get healthier, better. Um, we encourage you guys to take these two right here. Stay hydrated if it's hard for you guys to drink water. We have that everyday fit, guys. Add some flavor to your water and you're gonna stay hydrated. Also, it has BCAAs in there, so you're gonna be recovered from all these intense workouts that you guys, you guys crush it so hard and know we're sore, and that only helps you to recover a lot faster. And of course, if you need some sleep, we have <laughs> our new <laughs> We got it all. Yes. Right there, yeah. Sleep well, right there. Yep. Now, you guys, I know that we're so wired, and we're probably just like for me yesterday was I'm trying to. Oh, another thing I do is um. Well, I'm trying. I'm starting to do, and it's been working very well. Is I go to sleep every day at the same time. Now I go to sleep at uh around like eight eight thirty ish. The latest. Um, I try to like that's my time right there so I can wake up every day at 3 and I'm really really getting into it and it's working very very well so if you go to sleep at the same time your body's automatically going to know you're going to start to kind of get wired down and like just getting in the time to kind of start getting ready to sleep so that's one of the one good things that's happening for me right now and I enjoy it a lot because I wake up very rested. I'm definitely going to do that. And same thing on that end too if you're going to sleep at the same time like it's it's as important to wake up at the same time. Yeah. Because your body like your body likes having that routine, that habit in place. And so if it's like if you go to sleep at the same time but all of a sudden it's like one day you're waking up at, you know, three in the morning, the next day you're waking up at like it's a well like it's like, it's like it, your body doesn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. So you wanna make sure that it's like you're consistent with it. Just like your habits, you're consistent with it. You wanna dial you want everything to be dialed in. That way you're it's doing the best for you and it's not like you're just putting the effort for nothing. Yeah. Uh, so you want to make sure that like you're you're on top of all your stuff too. Uh, and again, like that, like there's gonna be times where it's gonna be really difficult. You don't hit your mark, but it's not about like the little times when you fail. Like, don't look at it just like the one time when things didn't go right. Look at it like, okay, was I at least eighty percent accurate? If you're eighty percent accurate with it, chances are you're gonna stick with it a lot better. But if you get discouraged by like that twenty percent that didn't go right. If you let that 20% get to you, then it's gonna be a heck of a lot harder to stick with. So you gotta be able to accept, you know, that there's gonna be a little bit of inconsistencies and not every single day is gonna be as perfect as you want it, but that's okay. Yeah. Like, as long as you just keep on chugging forward and you know what the end goal is, uh, especially when it comes to your uh, healthy habits and routines, like getting that down is, is, is so important because I can't stress that enough because yeah. like, with everything that I said, like, you, you know, with, with my skincare, oh. I've missed times where I'm like, oh, I didn't do it this time. Or when it comes to taking my vitamins, I'm like, oh, did I even take my vitamins today? Or like, did I take them yesterday? Like, I, I have more in my 30th day, you know, amount than I thought I should. Like, everything that's gonna be, you're gonna hit and miss and have those times, but like, be okay with it. Don't stress yourself out, don't start pulling out your hair. Yeah. Because like, you missed one or didn't go to plan. Like, it's hard to start rolling. getting, it's hard to start like implementing those habits. Like, in the beginning, it's, it's hard, but once you keep going, and then you like set that routine, it'll just come easier and easier each and every time. So it's hard at first, but don't stress about it. Just keep going, keep trying, and then you just slowly, you're, not, you're gonna be doing it without even thinking. Like you're just, it's gonna come natural, and it's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. It's just gonna be part of your life, I think. It's, uh, what you said, just like, I, I saw it like in a, a picture in my brain. Like, cause that, that's a, that's like a, a really real thing. There's a graph on it that shows the like, human body just like comes out natural. Yeah. yeah. So it's like right here when you start, let's say that this is like the amount of effort that's needed is coming up and down, and like over time is this way. So it's like when you're starting off, it's really it takes a ton of effort. It takes like a ton of effort to get it done. But then the more you do it, it takes a little bit less energy, a little bit less energy until it just becomes second nature. Yeah. So it's like, regardless of what you're starting, it's gonna take a lot out of you. And you have to be, you have to understand that, that it's not just gonna be like, oh, like, I'm gonna do this, it's gonna happen. Yeah. Like, even if you can flip that switch and really decide, it's still gonna take a lot of energy to get into it. It's a build of those healthy habits, but it's like persevering, like being willing to do it, like really going into it head first and knowing that it's what you want to do. It's gonna, it's gonna help a lot, just committing to, to what it is that you're trying to get done. Um, because yeah. All right. Takes a lot out of you, but it's worth it in the end. Yeah. Absolutely. Ooh, wonderful. That was awesome. That was cool, yeah. I'm excited to get after some of those habits. <laughs> are there any are there any habits that you guys are trying to start up? 
are, are, are in the works. Yeah, mine is uh, organizing my, like, scheduling my stuff. Um, I haven't scheduled it, like, in a calendar, like what you're seeing right now, but I want to do that, like, like kind of schedule all my day every hour. Not, maybe not every hour, but specific hours of the day. Where you know you want to get something done. Get something yeah. done, and then, like, the free time, schedule stuff, like, put stuff in there that I have to do. Not, I don't want to put a time in it yet because I feel like I have to master scheduling first, but I do want to put it, like, right here. You have this type of time, you can do these three things, you do it as like, well, I'm gonna do it with the time that I can, and then see, okay, did I waste time, did I not? Like, and then I'm also gonna do that with the grab and go. Yeah, I'm gonna okay. do that, that's, that's yeah. a good one. I'm gonna set something up right by the exit of the door, and I'm gonna have my stuff ready right there, because I'm always, that's the one thing I'm Looking always for going, yeah, I'm yeah. like, just making sure, did I feel like today I locked myself out <laughs> in my apartment, and uh, yeah, I was just like, just the balance, yeah, I was like, dude, I locked myself out, I had to go get an extra key or whatever, yeah. but uh, if I had that there, then I yeah. probably wouldn't have done that, right, know? so, yeah. yeah. Save time to save lives. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm coming to you. I'm lives. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What about you? What are you going to do? Honestly, I just started the whole scheduling thing, too. Oh, cool, cool. I did do it for this week, but I feel like even next week, um, since I'm going to be off, I really want to just go really in depth with like yeah. figuring out like time management. I have always just struggled with. Mm -hmm. So I'm like going to go super like detailed with it because I feel like that's just what I need. I need to be more um, strict on myself. It's been going well, like there's things, and I'm incorporating it slowly, but definitely just having it more planned out, I think is gonna ease my mind and not make me feel like things are coming at me a million miles a minute, you know? Yeah. But that, and I was just, Coach Susie's over there cleaning the whole lobby, and I was telling her, oh, that's a perfect thing to say, like, like it's spring now, like we're decluttering, so if you guys wanna just declutter your life, Declutter your, your habits and implement some new things. Like now's a perfect time to do it. Yeah. So there we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you? Is there anything you're specifically working on right now? That's new. Like new? <laughs> <laughs> of course, everything. I think with the Iron Man training, that's like they're on like a really big like left hook to like everything. Um, Cause right now is in like the easy phase. And like easy phase is still like an hour out of my day, like minimum, maybe two hours out of my day just like training. Mm -hmm. um, but it's actually brought like a lot of like, for some of you guys have noticed that I started working out in the studio a lot more. Uh, Cause I've been making the time to come in more and it follows directly in my training plans. Cause I have like two, I have two program strength days, but I'm, I'm too stubborn. I want to work out more. Uh, so I'm coming in and doing the studio and I'm making that a routine to still get like my three workouts in a year along with just hitting and like not letting a workout just slip by. Like, like I wasn't able to swim the other day and like that was like, okay, that's literally because I do not have access to a pool. Mm -hmm. But if it's like, oh, if there's a run and I don't do the run, I was like, I can't be okay with that. Because like every single one has to add up. So it's like being in the routine of not letting a workout slip by, especially because like when I was on the 75 hard, it was mandatory and I'm doing it with Ken, Daniel, you know, all of them. So it's very easy to be like, okay, I can't go because they're doing that. Right. But now it's really cool because it's just me. Yeah. yeah. So it's like if I if I fail and I tell you guys like oh I'm doing great da 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 and then it comes to race day and I don't finish or like I'm not prepared for it it's gonna show right. I mean so you're gonna know if I did the work or not. So it's really cool like building that routine of just like getting the workouts done of like pushing through it and like building it in my brain of like of having that thing where it's like there are no other answers there's no other things just like get to it and like before the session day. When Gus texted me that he locked himself out, mm -hmm. I was running. Mm -hmm. So I thought, like, I looked in, he's like, I locked myself out. And, there, and I was like, okay. I, so I just, I just responded back. I was like, okay, I'm running back. And I get back to the studio and I check my phone. And I was like, oh, Gus is in here. He's like, oh, no, I'm locked out of my apartment. I was like, okay, cool. Well, I'm going to put my sweater in my car now. Uh, it just ended up being, like, really convenient. But it's like, that just making that time, that falls in line with scheduling, too. Yeah. It's like just making the time for it. Like, having that routine be very, 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 uh, and that healthy habit of, like, just doing what I set out to do. Because it's, like, like not lying to yourself. Yeah. And like, I feel like that's a really good, like, mentally to be, like, okay, so I'm going to do this. I did it. Yeah. Right. There's, no, there's nothing else to, like, hide or worry about. Like, it's just, it's there. So, 
And when you're not doing it, you know you're not doing it. Oh, well, absolutely. So you also don't feel good about it. And uh, you can't lie to yourself. You can lie to everyone here in the world, but you can't lie to yourself. Yeah. So make sure you hold yourself accountable, guys. You make yourself proud because at the end of the day, self-care it is, yeah. is for you. It's for your own benefit. And you're only going to get better from there. You cannot, like not see results or not be good if you're doing good things for yourself and for your health. Like yeah. there's no way that you won't be happy for the results you see after creating those healthy habits and following through with them. So mm -hmm. just know that and then know that you're doing it for yourself. You know, you're only going to get better. You get to see your kids grow, your kids' kids, um, you know, your family members, and you get to accomplish more things in life and live longer. So keep those healthy habits. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's, that's about all I got. Yeah, that's, that's, that's all we got, guys. Make sure you guys comment on the video. Share your healthy habits. I, I want to see what you guys are doing. We want to see what you guys are doing and, and see if I can pick some up and yeah. learn some new things. That way I can implement them in my life and then get it get better. Yeah. Yes. All right. All right. Let's right. <laughs> stand for this one. I got to crouch. All right. All righty, Fifth Family. Let's get a family on three. One, two, three. Family.